Hey, in this video, I'm going over the comprehension questions for the great serum race. Number one, when the serum traveled to Nome during the epidemic, what was the sequence in which the mushers handed off the serum? So it started with Bill Shannon, and he was the first musher, and then who carried it next? After him, after him, after him, go all the way through to Gunner. So make sure you list all those different mushers and who carried it. Okay, number two, in your opinion, who made the biggest contribution to the successful delivery of the serum to the people of Nome? So this is your opinion, but then you want to back it up with examples from the text. So, for example, if you say Togo made the greatest contribution, well, why do you think that uh, Togo faced uh, extremely harsh conditions? Um, and then you can go into specific details of what some of those harsh conditions were, including the freezing cold, obviously. But again, this is your uh, opinion, as long as you back it up with examples from the text on why that person or animal um, made the biggest contribution. Okay, number three, think about a time when you had to work with a team of people to get something important done. How was working as a team important to achieving your goal? Well, just recently, you guys worked as a team on the STEM project with Mrs. Figueroa's class. So um, that's one example. But of course, if you have other examples from other things you've done in working as a team, you can use those examples as well. Okay, number four, the mushers and dog sled teams involved in the serum race are heroes. What do you think makes a hero? Compare the heroes in the great serum race to other heroes you know or have read about. What do they have in common? So there's a few different things you need to answer here. Uh, what do you think makes a hero? So I think a hero is somebody who, and then you explain that. The next part, compare the heroes in the Great Serum Race to other heroes you have read about. So you may want to compare them to astronauts, war heroes, um, you know, whoever it may be, and decide what do they have in common? What do those heroes have in common? Okay, number five. Reread The Last Great Race on Earth on pages 680 and 681. Why is it important that the Iditarod feature the checkpoints and medical assistance described in this selection? Use specific evidence from the Great Serum Race to support your answer. So in The Last Great Race on Earth, it talks about how they have those checkpoints and medical uh, teams ready to help. And then you need to... Uh, say, why are those things necessary? Well, go back to the story we read today and what were some of the catastrophes that happened along the way that might require um, medical assistance. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.